Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On my today's video will be on the review video on Reflections of a Man. So yeah, this book is my all-time favorite and this is something which all girls should read and you know get uh, get and it will help you guys in uh, raising your standards and getting to know what actually guys think and how they are and how what uh, your preference should be in choosing a guy so yeah this this book will help you a lot so let's just take you through this and let's get the video started so i got this book i think um, in the month of march but i didn't read it it was lying in my cupboard and after I broke up with my guy, I started reading it and I was regretting. I wish I would have read it earlier so yeah, I would have uh, gained so much of knowledge and wouldn't have suffered with the wrong guy. So I'll be reading on the chapter from this book which uh, mentions what a wrong guy is like. So I have been through this shit. Yeah, this is something which would be quite helpful to you guys. Now getting to know what your man should be like and you know if you are currently with the wrong guy then obviously you should take a step yeah this book have a chapter on as you know a wrong guy so uh, let's just take you through the book what it actually says so this book is written by mr amari soul and you know you'll be quite shocked and you know uh, quite surprised like a guy is writing this book yeah, and he has so much of knowledge we can actually what a girl needs and what are her requirements and on the basis of that he has written this book so this is kind of a you know jewelry in your cupboard you can say because the experiences and the knowledge which Amari so have shared is worth reading and you should go and just check out this book once so you will uh, get it in, on the online uh, shopping site do go and buy this book as it will help you a lot in your day to day life and you know choosing your man, your life partner and if you are currently facing some emotional downfall you will uh, get to know what actually uh, that all means so I will be taking you guys through the uh, one of the chapter from this book which is about a wrong man so what a wrong man is like so yeah let's just take you through this so let's just start with chapter 2 the wrong man so Mari so have written here he could be a good man but still not be the right man for you okay so on the next page mr Mari so says how could someone so right be so wrong he could have the right face the right smile with the right job making the right amount of money but if he doesn't love and respect you he is still the wrong man for you make sure when you decide to give a man your time you are doing it for the right reasons just because you look nice or drives a nice car doesn't mean anything if he disrespects you and treats you like you don't even exist so yeah it's something you know uh, it's, it's it's quite true if, if a man doesn't respect you and treats you like a shit then there's no use going into you now dragging that relationship and keeping your keeping yourself emotionally down because of him so yeah so further he writes and focus on who he is rather than what he is or what he has otherwise you might find yourself with a handsome man who is never home and a full closet but an empty place in your heart where his love should be. So yeah, if you know uh, most of us uh, girls are you know get attracted by a handsome guy, you know good looking man. So yeah, Mr. Mari have like routinely told here that you know his uh, closet and his uh, beauty won't let you lead your life happily. So if you are, uh, you know, uh, looking for a good man, first of all, you need to just keep this idea aside that, you know, he should be good looking or you will, you know, you will be spending your life with someone who only looks beautiful from outside and there's nothing more to look inside. The next topic, making him wait won't make him a better man. If he is the wrong man, having a rule that says you won't have sex with him before X amount of days won't change him. At the end of the waiting period, he will still be the same wrong man. Further, Amari Souls right here, 
When he is wrong, he is wrong. Time won't magically make him right. All you will be doing is postponing your inevitable disappointments and heartbreaks. Now I'm not saying that you should rush into it either. What I'm saying is there is no set amount of time will allow you to determine that man's worth. It will vary. However, the more time you give it, the more time you will have to evaluate whether or not he's someone you want to go to the next level with. My thoughts, be patient and go with your gut. You will know better based on how you feel rather than by what day it is. Just know there are no guarantees and in the end, time won't change who he is. So moving on to the next topic which Amari Sola mentioned is that a man that just takes in a relationship, you can never give enough to a man who is willing to take everything from you. Some men are just takers. They don't understand that a relationship is about giving and taking. It's about balance. To these men, it's always about them being able to compromise in the name of moving the relationship forward is a concept they cannot grasp. It's this type of man who, after you have done everything for him, still comes to the door of the relationship with his hand out, expecting more. Then he has the audacity to try to make you feel bad when you finally say enough. So, uh, Amari Sola rightly mentioned over here that, you know, some guys uh, just expect that you should be the giver in relationship and they do not understand the concept of balancing the relationship. So, uh, that is something which makes relationship even really quite worse when you realize your life is uh, getting into a mess and it's, it's going through hell. Another thing which Amari Sola have written in this book which actually uh, touched me like anything and which hits me like a sharp sword. Like, uh, this, uh, when I read this particular page I was like Damn, I should have read it earlier. If I shouldn't have read this earlier, it would have, you know, I would have not faced all those shits in my past. But then, uh, whatever it is, I, I literally cried after reading this. So, this, this is something which I would like to share it with you. So, the title of the uh, topic is In Love with the Idea. Some of you are more in love with the idea of being in love than you are in love with the person you are with. So you have created a fantasy world in your head and in this world you have made your relationship out to be more than what it really is because you are in love with the idea of being in love and you want it so bad you ignore all the signs that tell you this person is wrong for you you are so ready to believe that he is who you want him to be even when he shows you that he is not you ignore it your friends, the one you trust the most, have tried to warn you but you have blown them off by saying they don't know or they don't understand or they are just you know, hating uh, on you because you are happy. My question is, happy with what? Are you happy with the idea or the reality? Remember this, all fantasies come to an end. At some points, you will have to deal with the reality of the matter and the fact that he isn't really what you want or need. Then you are left disappointed and stuck with two choices, settle or move on after wasting all your time on something that never works. So you know this, this is something which is quite damn true and we make all these type of mistakes. So this is uh, something which you know just I'm just uh, I'm just you know surprised and you know um, I don't know what to say. I was just literally uh, surprised by reading this thing. Something which is quite uh, worth reading. So I would uh, suggest you guys just go and you know get this book and this is something worth 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 reading for today's video i have shared four of the topics from this uh, book which is about the wrong man so i will create next video on another topic from this book and you will love hearing it so yeah uh, that's all for today's video vlog i hope you guys like it if yes do give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe and comment and 
stay tuned for my other videos as well hit the bell icon and as i always say love and be love Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video would be on what's in my bag video. Yeah, let's get this video started. 